بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم this actually the second lecture we write on responsibilities of uh, engineering and the med uh, the ethical rights and responsibility of engineer and in this lecture I'm going to talk about the engineer rights to give professional rights engineer have rights that go along with uh, responsibilities not all these rights come about due to the professional status of engineer. There are rights that individuals have re regardless of their professional status, including the right of privacy, the right to participate in activities of one's own choosing outside the world, the right uh, to uh, responsibility, uh, responsibly object to the company policies without fear of uh, uh, reputation, and the right due to process. We're not going to talk about all those rights, we are going to talk about the rights of the, uh, the engineer as a professional. Uh, professional rights. Most of the, the most fundamental right of an engineer is the right of professional conscience. This involves that the right to, to exercise professional judgment in discharging one's duty and to exercise the judgment in an ethical manner. This right is basic to an engineer's professional practice. However, it is no surprise that this right is not always easy for an employer to understand. And this actually is a problem. Uh, sometimes the employer didn't understand the rights of the engineer. The right of pro uh, professional concerns can have many aspects. For example, one of these aspects might be referred as the right uh, of consensus refusal. This is the right to refuse to engage in unethical behavior. In other words, no employer can ask or pursue an employee into doing something that he considers unethical or unacceptable. Although this issue is very clear in cases for which an engineer is asked to falsely attest result or fudge on the safety of product, it is less clear in cases for which an engineer refuses an assignment based on an ethical principle that is not shared by everyone. For example, an engineer ought to be allowed to refuse to work on the uh, if defense project or environmentally hazardous work if his concerns say that such work is immoral. Employers should be reasonable accom uh, accommodating of the personal request. In other words, if the mohandis has a problem, he will be able to do some things. For example, he will be able to do some things because he will be able to do some things and he will be able to do some things. He will be able to do some things or be able to do some things. البيئة فدي كلها رايتس للانجنيز ولابد ان المخدم ياخذ بغاية التعليمات في الاشياء زي دي. وصل بلوينت وصل بلوينت از اكت باي ان امبلوي اوف فورم از بابليك اور هاير مانجمنت اوف ان ايثيكال اور ايليجال بيهافيا باي ان امبلوي اور ا سوبرفايزر. يا اخوانا ما يسموا الوصل بلوينت ده سلوك بيعمله مخدم آه مستخدم اقل عشان يبلغ عن حاله من مستخدم اعلى منه او حاله تعمل مؤسسه للمجتمع خطا وعنده طريقه معينه هتكلم عنها كيف انه واحد كان فلو ذا ويسل اكوردنج تو ذا كود اوف فيزكس اوف ذا بروفيشنال انجينير سوسايتيز انجينيرز هاف ا ديوتي to protect the health and safety of the public. So, in many cases, an engineer is co compelled to blow the whistle on out of project that harm these values. Engineers also have the professional right to disclose uh, wrongdoing within their organization and expect to see appropriate action taken. أو ضد البيئة فنحب إنه هو يحترق 
ويعمل ما يسمى بالويسل بلوي internal vessel internal vessel blowing a decision is often made between internal and external vessel blowing يعني هل هو الاحتراق بتاعه ده ينفع داخليا او خارجيا internal vessel blowing occur when an employee goes over the head of an immediate supervisor to report a problem to higher level of management يعني فقط الرئيس يمشي الاداره العليا يكلمه يقول له والله حصل مشكله معايا هنا Or all of his employees are bypassed, and the employee goes directly to the president of the company. I wish there is a massa, or the board of directors of the massa. However, it is done. So, the employee is kept within the company or organization. But in the end, he is the employee inside the massa. External employee occur when an employee goes outside the company and report. Surrounding to the newspaper or the law enforcement authorities, is a type of physical blowing is likely to be perceived as a disloyalty. I think that the people are not disloyalty. The rule, I mean, rather than that, it is in the society, but it is actually in the society that the people are not disloyal. However, keeping it within the company is often seen as less serious than going outside the company. لكن طبعا حفظ المؤسسة أفضل من أنك تلعبها برا. إذا كان هذا ممكن لكن إذا ما ممكن you have to go out and blow your whistle highly in the court or in the newspapers. There is also distinction between annoying and anonymous whistle blowing. Anonymous whistle blowing occurred when the employee who is blowing the whistle refuses to depict his name when making accusation. This accusation might take the form of anonymous memos to other management. The employee might also take the, to the news media but refuse to let his name to be used as a source of the Allegation of wrongdoing. Anonymous, يعني إنه هو يمشي ويدي معلومة بدون ما يدي اسمه أو يدي إنه منو هويته هو منو. والثانية اللي أكنوش وصل بروين إذا أصر هان وكر وانز إمبلوي بوت هيز نيم بيهين ذا اكوزيشن أن إزولين to withstand the second support brought on by his accusation. The acknowledgement in acknowledged that the man she said, "Well, the people that are accused of doing the wrong thing, they are so and so and so and so, and I stand for that." What happened to you? This point can be very bad from. A commercial point of view because it can lead to a distract. طبعا يا خانة الحقيقة فيها distrust واضحة يعني إنه الشخص بيمشي يقول أنا المؤسسة بتاعتي تعمل خطأ 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 also this harmony أنا كده المؤسسة بتاعت harmony and in an inability. Of employee to work together. I'm telling you, I'm not the first one. We're going to work together. In business, whistle blowing is perceived as an act of extreme disloyalty to the company and to co-workers. So, you need to know when you should blow the whistle. That should only be if the following four conditions are met. As you can see, whistle blowing. ما بنعملها الا في حالات الضروره القصوى وهنا هو وضع اربعه كونديشنز uh, قال لو ما وجدت اربع كونديشنز دي ما تعمل وسيل بلاين واحد زميل سكند بروكسيميت بروكسيميتي سيرت كابيبيلتي ان فورست كاس ريزورت اخر اخر حاله يعني طيب نيت 
there must be a clear and important harm that can be avoided by blowing the whistle. Yeah, the hard market to 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 share by blowing the whistle. Then go out the market. I'm not going to go. 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 To go public, the employee needs to have a sense of proportion. You don't need to blow the whistle about everything, just the important things. Of course, if there, is, if there is a pattern of many small things that are going on, this can add up to the major and important matter required that the whistle be blown. For example, if an accident occurred at your company, resulting in a spill, uh, in a spill of a small quantity of a toxic compound to a nearby waterway such as immediately uh, clean up this in, uh, incident pro uh, probably does not merit notifying outside of Sarah. شوية toxic material تكبت في مجرى بتاع موية وتنظفت فانت في حاجة دي ما في داعي انك تطلع على الصعيد. However, if this type of, uh, of event happens repeatedly and no action taken لو الحاجة دي بتعمل بطريقة متكررة وكده في حالة زي دي you can, you can blow the whistle. Uh, so he said if this type of event happens repeatedly and no action is taken to rectify the problem despite uh, repeated attempt by the employees to get the problem fixed, then perhaps this situation is serious enough to warrant the extreme measure of whistle blowing. Rockspear. So whistle blowing must be in a very clear position to report on the problem. First hand knowledge is essential to, uh, to making an effective case about wrongdoing. يعني يا اخوانا الزول المباشر للمشكله هو اللي بيعمل وسط فلان. ما تقول انا سمعت من فلان ولا فلان قال لي ولا حصل في الجسم الفلان ولا بتاع اذا ما حصل عندك حصل حصل قدامك وانت جزء منها انت دونت تراي تو بلو ذا ويسل. This point also implies that the whistle blower must have enough expertise in the area of making realistic assessment of situation. What do you think of the whistle? Or you can't blow the whistle? Unless you think you can't blow the whistle. Unless you think you can't blow the whistle. This condition uh, stems from the clauses in several codes of ethics, which mandates that an engineer not undertake work in areas outside his experience. Come on, I found out that the whistle is a code. I'm going to get the engineer. I don't work in any area outside your expertise. يعني ما حاجة ما تخصص ما تشتغل فيها. This this principle applies equal well making assessment about whether wrong is wrong doing is taking place. ودي برضو خانة في في الأشياء الخطأ اللي أنت عايز تعمل تقصد تقولين يا بدي إنك تكون في مجال تخصصك ومجال خبراتك. Humility. So we should follow. Must have a responsible chance of successful in stopping the harmful activity. You are not obligated to risk your career and the financial security of your family if you can't see uh, the case through to completion, or you don't feel that you have access to the proper channel to ensure that the situation is resolved. Yeah, is a matter of time to handle the problem. أول مشكلة صعب جدا حلها وأنت ما عندك الإمكانية لحلها فلا تقلق نفسك فيها ولا تضرب صفار. Last resort. A whistle blowing should be attempted only if there is no one else more capable or more proximate to blow the whistle and if you feel that all other lines of action within the context of the organization have been uh, explored and shut off. يعني لما تبقى هي اخر حل وانت الشخص الوحيد اللي ممكن يضرب الصفارة دي زي ما كان بس لو ذا ويسل اف نوت تنضي بريفنتنج ويسل بلاين سو فار اور ديسكشن اوف ويسل بلاين هاز فوكس اون ذا امبلوي هو فاينز هاسل اور هيم سيلف ان ا سيتويشن ان ويتش هي فيل اور هي فيلز 
that something must be done. We should also look at the whistleblowing from the employer point of view who should seek to minimize the need for employees to blow the whistle within his organization. Clearly, any time the information about wrongdoing becomes public, it is harmful to the organization's image and will uh, negatively affect the future prospects of the company. How then do we can stop this type of damage? المؤسسة ما أدرى صفا في الدوراب ولا أنا في الدوراب أو بتأثر على الإيميج بتاعتها أو الصورة بتاعتها فعشان كده هي ممكن تعمل شنو؟ There are four ways in which to solve the whistle blowing problem within the corporation. يا أبو عطورة عشان تحلبها مشكلة داخل المؤسسة. ثالثا there must be a strong corporate ethic culture. لازم يكون في Culture, ethical culture, the المؤسسة. This should include a clear commitment to ethical behavior, starting as the highest level of management and uh, mandatory ethic training for the employees. All managers must set the tone for ethical behavior of their employees. Secondly. بعد الكتشة شنو there should be a clear line of communication within the corporation لازم يكون في اتصال جيد في داخل المؤسسة this opens if an employee who feels that there is a something there is something that must be fixed a clear pass to air his concerns third all employees must have meaningful access to high level management in order to bring their concern forward. يعني كل المقدمين عندهم المقدر انه يكون يصل الادارة العليا. This access will this access must come with a guarantee that there will be no retaliation retaliation Uh, rather, employees willing to come forward should be rewarded for their com uh, commitment to for, uh, fostering the ethical behavior of the company. Then, I can in the country, not the employees, as I mean, the government are only of this rocket and the government are only the government are the و... وما يكون في نوع بتاع انتقاد من الناس ديلا وعلى العكس يكون في نوع بتاع مكافأة للناس اللي هم فعلا كوستيرن بيز ذا كمباني ايميج فاينالي ذي شود بي ويلنس اون ذا بارت اوف ذا مانجمنت تو ادميت ميستيكس بابليكلي اف نيسيساري The attitude would set the stage for ethical behavior by all employees. برضو في الآخر لا بد أن الإدارة تكون عندها المقدرة أو ال العزم لأن هي تحترم الأخطاء اللي تحصل. Right? This is actually a selection about the minimum rights. Thank you for your attention. And uh, then uh, we are going to talk about some in the next lecture about some of ethical issues. Maybe I'm going to talk about the environmental issue, or maybe also I'm going to talk about the computer issues. And that's all what, what we are going to talk about. Then we have some lectures, inshallah, discussing some case studies. Uh, which has been prepared by some of my students, previous students, of course. Thank you very much for your attention, and this is the end of our lecture.